I've seen many totally accurate battles in my time. Each one of them different, yet oddly somehow similar. All those past battles can be forgotten now, because everything changes. Uh, is that an assault rifle? What's up guys and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Actually, I feel bad saying welcome back because this is practically an entirely new game. The open alpha is here and they've introduced a dozen new units, new maps, they've changed the logo, the music, the menus, everything. There's so much different here for the better. So today I'm going to try to show you guys as much of the new update as I can. I might not be able to get to everything, but keep in mind, if there's something that you really like about it, one specific unit, be sure to leave a comment and let me know because I think moving forward, I want to make episodes revolving around specific units. I feel a little bit overwhelmed with what's here. I'll show you what I mean. We go to the sandbox, the grid is gone. You just place units directly onto the map now, and there's still four maps. We have Scotland, we have Japan, we have Denmark, Canada, yeah, we're gonna go with Canada, and the Sahara. And they've divided all of the units up into... Nationality? No, not really. Classifications? I don't know. We have Vikings, Crusaders, Greece, Asia, Napoleon, and Miscellaneous. And there are a lot of units here, and a lot of ridiculous units. I don't even know where to start, to be honest. Like, what would be an interesting matchup? Let's try something even. Let's try the Thief versus the Headbutter. So the Thief has a little knife. What exactly is the Headbutter gonna do? He's just gonna get wrecked by the looks of it. What do you guys do? I mean, you headbutt, obvious. Oh, <laughs> they launch themselves at people with their little spiky helmets. <laughs> I know that they had changed the physics to this, but man, oh man, that is a goofy unit. Okay, hold on, was that even? Yeah, that was 2 for 40 versus 240. I kinda wanna see that again. You guys are bringing a helmet to a knife fight and getting absolutely worked. But I <laughs> these guys are great. Oh my God, this update is gonna be amazing. We have Samurai and Ninja, but we also have Samurai Master and Ninja Master. So I'm curious to see what the difference is. Let's see if the student can become the master. We'll make this an even fight, right? 720 versus 700. We'll give the advantage to the student because of experience. So what exactly do the ninjas do? <laughs> they throw ninja stars. Oh, I see. So the master is rapid fire and uh, you guys aren't so much. That's really cool, we haven't had a rapid fire ranged unit in this before, but he got worked. So when it comes to the ninjas, the student has become the master, but let's see about the samurai. Oh, they've changed the samurai. Not only do they hold their weapons differently, but they have little helmets. Oh, did they do that for everybody? I really hope they did, because it used to just, it used to just be a bunch of farmers with different weapons. Everybody looked the exact same. Is the master dead or not? He put up a good fight. Does he have a beard? Let me see that again. Oh, that's what makes him the master. He's He does front flips and he has a beard. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you got work. These guys didn't even have to fight. So what's at the high end of the pay scale? The Dark Peasant. Okay, 20,000. Wow, that is terrifying. Okay, let's do the most expensive unit in the Dark Peasant versus a lot of the cheapest unit being the light peasant? The white peasant? I have no idea. I don't think I can make this an even fight without crashing the game, but you know what? 20,000 versus 1,000? That, that's probably good, right? 1,000-ish? Oh my god, what? What is he? 
He summons spikes and just penetrates people's buttholes. He doesn't even fight, he just walks through them. Oh my god, you are terrifying looking. What? I need to see that again real quick. That wasn't even a fight, right? Like, if they get close to him, they just die. None of them even get close. So what beats a dark peasant if he could just one-shot anybody in his area? That's ridiculous. Okay, let's see what can beat him. What if we up the unit? What if we go with the uh, Axemen? We haven't seen the Axemen before. They cost 200. They're looking pretty beefy. We'll just toss in a whole bunch of Axemen. They have little wolves or bears on their heads. <laughs> and by the looks of it, they're still getting one-shotted. Oh no, look at that. They're surviving a little bit. But the dark peasant kind of encases himself in evil. <laughs> and they can't get to him. Oh my god, this guy is so overpowered. Alright, dark peasant, how do you feel against an M16? Because apparently medieval weapons weren't enough. We needed semi-automatic assault rifles. Oh my god, you just got worked! The M16s are so cool. Oh, he's not dead. He's still going. He's getting lit up, but he's not gonna die by the looks of it. They're just pushing him up the rock, right? How much health does this guy have? Oh, oh! Be gone, Satan! Back to hell with you! <laughs> okay, so they didn't die. So it is a range-based thing. If you can keep your distance from the devil, that's a lot of distance, then uh, you'll be all right. Guys, you're gonna walk, no, they're good. They know what they're doing. Okay, that wasn't exactly a fair fight. That was like 30 or 40 or 50,000 worth of M16s versus 20,000 of Dark Peasants. So what could we get that might be an even value? I'm kind of curious if they've upgraded the Huachas at all. What if we try a whole bunch of Huachas? <laughs> right, we could just litter him with arrows. Do you like arrows? Guys, we need to hit him with the arrows. Oh God, okay, we did hit him. But no, no, we hit him once. All of that. We hit him once. So they haven't changed the Huacha's aim at all. Let's see if we can move this guy back a little bit, right? Right around here, I think, was where the arrows were landing. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get diced up. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so the siege unit seemed to be able to pull it off. I'm curious if that carries on with the rest of the siege units. Like, what about the ballista? The ballista was always pretty good against single target units. Okay, guys, ready? Fire! Oh, you just got your shit wrecked. That was unreal. Okay, no, we need to try one, right? Just one ballista, 500 versus 20,000. Are you gonna be able to survive a bolt? Uh, if you're gonna shoot the devil in the dick, you better make sure he's dead. There you go. Interesting, 550 of a siege unit can take down 20,000 in a dark peasant. I'm impressed, you know what? I like it. So what if we do catapults? Have they improved the catapults at all? I get the feeling that you're not gonna do a whole lot of damage, right? Oh, no, not really. Yep, get get worked. <laughs> they just brush off. I feel like the catapult is probably best against crowd control, right? Because it rolls through the units. So what if we try the cannon crew? Because I think they've changed the cannon crew. Not only did they give them little hats, but, oh, but their shots explode now. Oh, we are we are so trying that against a large group. That is unreal. Okay, we're just gonna keep him at bay, right? Satan be gone. <laughs> That's oh my God, right in the face. Oh, it's painful to watch. I love it though, because the cannon crews used to suck, right? Their shots would just roll and people would brush it off, but y you don't, you don't roll and brush that off. Whole bunch of cannon crew versus, who's somebody that we haven't seen yet? The barrel roller. What's a barrel roller? Oh, it's a guy on a barrel. Okay, I get the feeling you guys are gonna have a bad time. Did they just explode? Was that the cannons or the barrels? Hold on a second. Let's just try, where's the peasants? Just try a whole bunch of peasants versus the barrel rollers. I need to see this again. I think the barrels explode. What is it that you guys do exactly? Yup, they explode. Oh my God, they burn all of the units. They get charred. That is so freaking cool. Okay, we need a couple of units back here so that they actually continue because they kill themselves, right? Yeah, they're kamikazes, but the fire makes like a line that they can't cross and it burns every unit, including your own. 
<laughs> so they get charred, and then they'll fight it out. Oh, look at that. The footmen have little bucket helmets now, too. Amazing. All right, enough pussyfooting around. Let's see what some of these bigger units are like. We have uh, the Chicken Man Man, the Super Peasant. Okay, we have a uh, bunch of Super Peasants. Let's do those versus uh, Barbarians. We haven't seen Barbarians yet. They look the exact same as they used to be. I guess there's only so much you can do with a Barbarian. They actually fly. Oh my God, <laughs> they're actually superheroes. That is awesome. They don't seem to be very effective at killing people. You're just kind of rubbing your face against this guy's crotch, right? I, I, do you have gonorrhea? Are you gonna kill him with an STD? What the hell is happening right now? This guy's getting the two for one special, but he's not going down. Oh God, here comes his friends. They are so terrifying with the glowing eyes and they're flying. This guy's gonna get it now, right? He has to. You're gonna swoop on down and, uh, and just touch him. Bit underwhelming. Super Boxer, you say? Let's try Super Boxer versus Super Boxer. Who's your money on? I'm going for uh, the blue guy. Go blue guy, hit him, duck, weave. I'm, I feel like Rocky's trainer right now. Oh my God, these guys go all out. <laughs> Look at the fists, yeah! Man, I think the Super Boxer is my favorite one yet. That was awesome, just fists of fury. What the hell, Hillary and Trump. Okay, let's have the election again by the looks of it. We got Hillary versus Trump. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna take it down the- Oh, they talk too, and Hillary throws emails. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not rooting for anybody. I'm not going there, but I can't imagine how this is gonna go. Hillary's gonna get- Hillary's gonna win. Well then, should we do two out of three? Because I feel like people are gonna be pissed no matter what. I love that she throws emails. <laughs> <laughs> he just seems to be a dual-wielding M16, and she is a different ninja master? I did not think that Hillary Clinton was a ninja master. Then again, I don't know Hillary Clinton. Trump wins, one to one. Round three, Hillary Clinton ninja master versus uh, Trump M16 squared. I have no idea who could take this down. You need to be landing with those emails, Hillary. You're doing a lot of missing. I'm seeing a lot of deleted emails, but she wins anyway. <laughs> I'm seeing a bit of an issue with the game. Hillary won't stop talking even though it's over. I'm not even gonna make a joke about that. So we got the chicken man man. We have the chicken man. We've already seen all of these guys. Have they improved the muskets? That's something that I really wanna know because the muskets have been so freaking bad. They're so inaccurate, I hate using them. Let's put them up against a bunch of bucket-headed footmen and see if you guys can actually land a shot or two, right? They're coming. Ready? You guys got your silly hats on. You all hit the same guy and he didn't even die. <laughs> okay. You still don't have any kind of melee capabilities. Yeah, uh, nothing's changed. So what do we have left? We have spear throwers, okay. So that's a different kind of ranged unit. Let's put them up against a bunch of Vikings. We haven't seen the Vikings yet either. So the Vikings have silly hats as well. I love the introduction of silly hats for everybody. So what do you guys do? You throw your spears, you don't kill anybody. Okay, it's not a single throw, so you get multiple throws, but you're not the greatest. So they seem to be really slow at throwing their spears and don't have a very large range. So what's the upside to them? Whoa. What happened here? Did they take this down? Oh, you are screwed. <laughs> oh, I need to look at the stats, right? Because they give you stats to these guys now. Spearman, health 100, speed, attack speed 5. Okay, so if we compare that to something like the musket, it's 6. What about the archers, right? Spearman, no, archers 2.7. Okay, so they are pretty slow. But I'm guessing they do a lot of damage with those giant spears. That was pretty cool. Let's try an even fight between Spearman and Chariot, because why not? A lot of people seem to want to see that from me. I can see that the Chariot is very festive. Have they changed it at all? Doesn't really look like it. Okay, yeah, oh, uh, a little bit glitchy there. <laughs> and, uh, oh, they have hoplite helmets now. That is awesome. And they just, they take down the Chariot no problem. Kind of what I expected. That's how it is, because if the chariot gets hit with any spear, then it's gonna die. It's just a matter of luck of whether or not it doesn't. <laughs> but whenever it does, it gets tagged, and it's gonna go down. Oh my god, the little wobbly-legged Rudolph is amazing. It's, it's just, it's not even close. 
But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And like I said at the beginning, be sure to leave a comment and let me know which unit you think is the most interesting. Which one would you like to see a video around? Because there are so many units in this game now, and it's really a game of rock, paper, scissors. No unit is the best. It just has good or bad matchups against other units. So I like the idea of picking one unit and testing it out against everything and seeing what it's good and bad against. And I get to make a cinematic intro about a specific unit and kind of theme the video and stuff like that. I think it'd be a lot of fun, so be sure to let me know. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.